Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Fallout 76 video. Well, we have a, a little bit of an update in game. No, you don't have to download anything, but we have a, a event that is kicking off. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get the Brotherhood of Steel backpack and how you can complete these events and get you some nice lovely rewards as well. So if at any given time you found this video helpful or just just a little bit entertaining please by all means you can follow like subscribe on all social media platforms but especially right here on youtube help these videos get out there in the youtube algorithm and i'm able to give back more now let's get started thanks for watching now if you're trying to get that backpack first things first you're gonna have to head over into the atomic store and head over to the bls backpack all you have to do is confirm it and boom it's unlocked don't forget to pick up the pride frag this week as well as some free caps that you can get as well in the atomic shop all right you got your backpack now what do you need to do next well you're gonna need to craft it head over to a crafting armor bench head over to this one right here in my camp and right under backpacks you're gonna have to craft yourself a backpack if you don't have a backpack there is a free one that you can get a small one i'll, I'll let you know about that at, towards the end of the video but in order to craft you're gonna need some steel some leather some cloth if you already have your backpack unlocked yeah just make yourself another one now that you have your standard backpack head over to it and there it is right there the brotherhood of steel backpack the same thing that we just unlocked in the atomic shop you're going to need some plastic and some cloth in order to apply this to the backpack that you have and once again like i said if you don't have a backpack i'll show you how to get one at the end of the video so if i add my mods on this bad boy if you don't have mods you know you know, I put this on there, but this is what my BLS backpack looks like after it's all said and done. So thumbs up to me and hopefully thumbs up to you if you made it to this part. Now, what do we need to do? Well, we need to complete some events. We got regular daily events, as you can see right here. It's going to give us a nice little repair kit. Okay, that's cool. It's all going to kick us up into the main event that's going to happen when we get that still rain update. But for right now, we're going to have to put on this backpack and work our way towards getting some nice little incremental events and rewards. So we got the daily events that we have and we got our weekly events. We need to have our backpack on the whole time that we do these events in order for it to count. Now, if you complete three of those daily challenges, you're going to get yourself a Brotherhood of Steel Pit Boy skin, which is actually pretty cool. But that isn't just it the coming storm is a limited time event that kicks off today now as long as you got that backpack on there are going to be a ton of different daily challenges that will either require you to complete in game events in specific regions of the appalachia like capturing workshops or doing like those other events like that this soji right there and you're going to get a whole bunch of different rewards you also earn progress towards a reoccurring weekly challenge that will offer you different rewards like that pit boy scan and flags for your camp as well now if you complete at least two of these challenges these weekly challenges and you have that backpack equipped before the coming storm dlc arrives on july 6 you also unlock a brand new brotherhood of steel recon helmet so that's how you're going to get it and this is how the event is going to work my fellow vault dwellers so get out there and have some fun i showed you how to get the backpack i showed you exactly the materials that you need now all you have to do is get out there complete those challenges and have some fun now if you are new to fallout 76 and you still need a small backpack well this is how you're going to do it just due east of the vault 76 will be the morgantown airport now if you head over into here all the way up at the top is going to be a small plan for the backpack but it's easier said than done there are some high level scorch enemies over here of course they're going to be uh, up to up to your level so just just fyi but make your way down before you can go up so that's what you're going to do in order to go up you need to go down first so head down and each time you head into one of these areas it's going to be a ton of these scorch enemies so take them out and then from here you're going to head up and you're going to have to open this door activate that bad boy and once again 
more enemies. Take out these scorch enemies until you get to this door, which you're gonna need a ID reader card, which there is one laying around pretty much everywhere. So pick up that ID card, head up straight into this area where once again, there are gonna be more enemies. After that, you can hear, you're here, you're here. You're here at the command post. There's a guy right there. You can finish your responder quest if you're doing that, but inside the over here, cache will be your backpack. But for right now, that's pretty much going in for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. And once again, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome, don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Claim and I upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, without your help, this video, the channel does nothing. But with your help, watching, thumbs up, and all that good YouTube stuff, we can do a lot of good things. So thank you, everybody, for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.